My name is Ralph Froberger. I'm 88 and I teach skiing at Hunter Mountain, New York. I was born in Amsterdam, Holland. Well, we didn't flee. We were uh, imprisoned by the Germans when I was nine. Still remember it? Oh, yeah. My mother and my two brothers and myself. We were, we were first in a, what was called a transit camp in Holland, which they gathered all the Jews. And then every week transport went to death camps in Germany. And recently, somebody sent me a statistic that the people who were sent east from that Dutch camp, 5% survived World War II. I mean, that's amazing. So my mother went in with three little boys and came up with three little boys. It was a miracle. So when you guys came to the States, where were you? New York. Why at 72 did you think, hey, this would be a good time to start teaching? Uh, well, I happened to see an ad for the instructor training course at Hunter. And uh, they set $85 for the weekend, and it's early season. So I, 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 and I said, if we like you, we invite you back for a second weekend. No extra charge. And if we like you then, we'll ask you to join the ski school. But after the first morning, I called my wife and I said, you wouldn't believe what I'm learning here. They asked me to join the ski school and she laughed. She said, now you have to tell them you were just trying to get, you know, some cheap skiing in. And uh, I said, well, I'll try it and see what it's like. So what is it about teaching? It's fun, it's rewarding. It's fun to see people improve. Nice, very nice. Now we're going to make our turn shorter. I teach in the Fire Island too. I teach windsurfing this summer. It's kind of the same thing. You're in here. You get assigned a student. Do they? Do you ever tell them how old you are? No. Well, let me guess. <laughs> they never ask. You're, uh, you're 10 years old. Five years old. Five. I think they wow. just want to see if you can ski or if you can teach. I don't think I've ever been asked. You've never been asked how old you are? I don't think so. Oh, he's been my idol. I mean, just growing up as a kid, you know, just playing soccer with him was great. But then as I got older, I realized all the other stuff he did and just how great he is. You know, he's always trying to teach, whether it's soccer or windsurfing or skiing. He really cares about the people that he teaches. I mean, he sincerely cares about them. And I have never heard anybody make any kind of comment about Ralph. To do the things that he does at his age is extraordinary. Well, does anyone in your family say, hey, hey, Ralph, like, no moguls, let's, like, take it easy. We want to have you around for another couple decades. <laughs> That's not allowed in my family. They're all very good skiers. You're a Holocaust survivor. Yep. Does that inform how you live your life? You know, I don't think about those things unless I'm asked. Satchel Page. He was a, uh, a black baseball player who uh, had finished most of his career when he was finally allowed to join the major leagues. But he was known for his sayings, just like Yogi Berra. And he supposedly said, just, you've got to keep moving and don't look back because something may be gaining on you. So I'm with Satchel. I have a feeling of gratitude 24-7. I'm truly luckier than anyone's entitled to be.